Welcome. Today we're flying the Captain Sim 767-300. We are at KJFK on runway 31R. Let's check our fuel and payload. By default, this plane comes with the left and right wing tanks empty. This is a short flight, so we're just going to put in 10% because we need fuel in the left wing in order to start the APU. Also, the payload comes 100% full. We're going to take out the cargo, but leave the passengers in so that we have a reasonable weight for takeoff. All right, let's open the overhead panel. We want to turn the battery on and start the APU. Put your IRS selector navs to align. While we're waiting for the APU to finish, let's turn our lights on. landing lights and taxi lights, our position light and the red and white collision lights. Our APU is now running. Let's open up the left, right and center isolation valves and you'll notice that the pump pressure goes up. Move our IRS selectors to NAV. And for now we are done with the overhead panel. We'll come back to it later. So the next thing is to program the CDU. There's a message here that says enter the IRS position. Go ahead and hit clear to clear the scratch pad. Hit the 6R line. You want to copy this GPS position here by clicking once and then pasting it into that line. Now for our route, today we're going to load a flight plan that has already been created in the flight simulator. So if we hit here on the three left button and then look at the flight sim plans, these are the ones that you've already saved using flight simulator. Use the next and previous buttons to scroll through them. Okay, we chose KJFK to Rochester, KROC. We'll hit the departure arrival button. We want to choose a departure for KJFK. Runway 31R. And then execute. Now we'll do our perfinet. Our zero fuel weight we can take directly from the fuel and payload page. It's these top two numbers added together. So basically 90 and 15, uh, 104.8. Enter that into the scratch pad and paste it at the zero fuel weight line. And then you'll notice that our gross weight is calculated for us. Put in 10 for your reserves. Put your cruise altitude. The cost index. It's pretty normal to use 80. If you're on real long distance and you get a notice that there's not enough fuel, you might come down to 70 or 75. Let's see if that helps. For our takeoff, you put in your flat position. We're going to use 15. And then your center of gravity, use 34. Now there's two numbers here we need to take note of. It calculated our V2 speed at 147 and our trim at 1. So let's go ahead and put those numbers in before we leave here. 
So let's open up the autopilot panel. We'll put that right up here. I usually just leave it there. We want to set our initial speed at 147. And our trim at 1. So I'll open up the pedestal. Here's your trim knob here. Alright, we are done with the CDU. That's our legs. Let's take a real quick check of the plan. Change our view to plan. And then from the legs page, click on this step button. And that will take you through your plan. Okay, everything looks good. Alright, we're ready to start the engines. Make sure your parking brake is on and hit Control E on the keyboard. Okay, while the engines are starting up, let's put in our altitude. Set our heading to the runway heading. Make sure our speed brake is set to take off. We'll set our flaps to 15 by hitting the F7 key three times. Our engines are now started. Let's return to the overhead panel. And all we need to do is just check off everything that's highlighted. Turn off the APU. Alright, our overhead panel is completely dark. Bring up the autopilot again. Arm the auto thrust and turn on the flight director. Okay, we are ready for takeoff. I'm going to do three things at one time. I'm going to release the parking brake, push the throttle full forward, and hit the EPR button. You want to rotate at the speed bug.
right watch your flight director you want to keep your your climb on your flight director put our gear up glide float put our flaps up glide float glide float all right on the autopilot panel put on your left nav and your vertical nav and command notice that even though we have the speed still set at 147 our speed bug has moved to 250 so the auto thrust is now taken over Thank you for watching.